local letter carriers reach a boiling point over a rash of recent attacks and they rally calling on the Postal Service for change and on you for help. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey live tonight in Queensgate with their demand. Sean. Yeah, Evan, National Letter Courier Association members say that after 17 of their own in the greater Cincinnati area have been attacked or robbed in the last 20 or so months, they don't feel safe and change must come before someone is killed on the job. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. A rally for postal worker safety was headlined by a woman who would have blended into the crowd if it wasn't for her incredible story. I acted in a way that I came out with my life, so I think that's that's most important. Taylor Witt says in the last year and a half working the mid-city route around McMicken and Clifton, she was assaulted on the job. Came after me, attacked me, grabbed me by the neck. I thought, this will never happen again. And then nine months later, robbed at gunpoint. I now have PTSD, and I thought that was something only reserved for veterans, you know, people with other other people who weren't me. I didn't think it would ever be me. Witt is one of 17 postal workers who've been robbed or assaulted in this region since the beginning of 2022, according to Ted Thompson. Enough is enough. President of the local letter carrier association branch. The emotion that comes about is, is outrage. Thompson joined state and federal lawmakers in calling on the post office to accelerate efforts to move beyond the use of physical keys for post boxes. The keys are a favorite target for thieves. They provide easy access to mailboxes containing private info that can be sold online. He also called for federal prosecutors to aggressively pursue attackers and called on people in the community to watch out for their letter carriers. Right now it's summertime. If you see somebody walking around in long sleeves with a ski mask, that's not normal. Maybe say something. Witt says that support from her customers is what keeps her coming back through it all. That's the thing. They aren't strangers anymore. They're, they're family, they're friends, they're community. And, and that means so much to me. Now, law enforcement speaking at Fountain Square today say that being a good observer is key to helping them solve these cases and catch some suspects. So keep your eyes peeled and be ready to report whatever you see at Queensgate. I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.